Okay, so let's uh, let's do a little more exploration in the Badlands. We, I'm gonna go just slay some combatants down here. We've got our like squad with us, and I'm. How are you? You got my attention. Not quite sure how these guys work their quests. Like I, you know, I don't really quite get how I get them to do whatever I want them to do. Um. Also, where's my boy, my bell guard? Oh no, if I summon him, it looks like I'll lose Eric the Swift. Alright, I, I don't really know how these guys are going to work. Let's just, just kill some things and see what they do. Uh, I never quite had a squad like this. So, anyway, we'll just kill some Dust Belchers, they're easy enough. I, I think we will move quickly or soon over to Searing Gorge. Uh, Man, it's like allergy season for me. And it's strange, because I don't really have like terrible allergies, but I do just like kind of get a little um sniffly in the morning, especially when my nose is a little bit stuffy. But I'm like pretty much fine. Just like a little mi like mild allergies. I always kinda get them around this time of year. Uh, starting in like September. Hmm. Into like October. Um these ogres, let me think about this. Were the ogres always here in Badlands? I thought there used to be like earth elementals over in this area. So it feels a little bit different than normal. I mean, is that true? I think it's true. I think there used to be earth elementals down here. I mean, I know there were also these ogres, but like up these hills further, I thought there were earth elementals along this side here. And it doesn't look like there's gonna be any earth elementals anymore. Oh man, those shamans heal a lot. We just lost Baylog. Like, let's shit up, rip. Um. Oh, I just realized I'm supposed to use their skills. I get it. I have a. I, have a, I didn't realize I have a pet hotbar down here. Like, I, I wasn't paying attention to that. Um. Okay, now I understand. Let's use Eric's pocket potion. Okay, ready for turn in. Let's turn that in after I kill these guys. I was like, how do I get? How do I use his abilities? And I didn't realize that that's why when I was trying to summon my fell guard, it was like unsummoning them because it's literally these guys are my pets. What can I do for you? Okay, cool. Got it. Now I need to use this guy's stuff. Okay. Um. Up with you. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm like not paying any attention. Like, how do I? I thought they would just cast their stuff. I don't know why. Um, nifty, nifty. I like that. It's so cool having the Lost Vikings. Like, it's like crazy to think these guys used to be like my. Uh, I used to play video games, like a couple of video games with these guys uh, on the Super Nintendo. I never had a Genesis as a kid. I played a Genesis as a kid a little bit, like at a friend's house, but. Um. I mostly was like on Super Nintendo. Um, how many more dust belt? We need four more. Let's finish the dust belchers while we're here, and then we'll go move on up to uh, that little goblin lady. It's kind of funny though. Our, our pet died. One of our Vikings, and it just resummoned, came back to life. It's very nice. The shamans do like a full heal. Like if you don't kill them, they will just literally full heal. That's crazy. Um, let us soulstone. So, what else is going on? Uh, oh, so I, I celebrated my birthday this past weekend. We uh, didn't really do much. I actually I have a lot of work going on right now, like work at work. So I mostly, um, man, the lesser healing wave is, is crazy. It like full heals really, really quickly. Um, like it's like a one second cast for a full heal. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? So, we have a lot of, like, mobs we summon here. Like, seriously, like, we have, like, a huge army with, between the Vikings and all these guys. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's do a pet. Let's summon... Gregarious Krill. I think we've had him out before. Another imp to add to our imp army seems fine. Alright, one more dust belcher. So, 
Um, yeah, we celebrated my birthday. I didn't really do anything crazy. Um, my my birthday dinner was like the most non fancy thing I've ever done. It was Taco Bell. Uh, I really like Taco Bell. It sounds silly, but like it's one of my favorite places to eat. I don't eat there very often. Like I really do try and avoid eating there a lot because it's just you know it's fast food. I generally like to cook anyway. Um, like I prefer cooking meals at home. My wife does too when we can. Uh, but my birthday, something kind of cheap, kind of easy, quick. It was nice. Um, yeah, something I like a lot. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but that, that was my birthday dinner. My wife was like, kind of thought it was funny that I wanted to go to Taco Bell of all places. And then, uh... Hey there. So you're around. Okay. Quest complete. Let's go find that little goblin buddy. Also, let's get a group going. Um... Zulfurok. Haven't ran that in a long time. Actually, this one, by the way, Zulfurok. Let's get our soul health zones. This is almost the, the same level as what Zulfurok normally would be. I always think of it as being like an upper 40s instance. So Zulfurok seems like it hasn't changed much in terms of level suggestion, which is kind of interesting. It's one of the few ones that hasn't. I think most of them have changed quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to kill four soldiers and then... Kalaran the Annihilator herself. <laughs> oh, she's disguised. Got it. Okay, well. I was like, like she's really just a goblin? That's crazy. Oh, we got our Viking squad to take care of this, so. I'm gonna try and sprint up here and grab her. Feels like we lost one of our Vikings, but that's okay. <laughs> um, it's fine. We're just gonna kill this. It's all Vikings attack speed by 200% for 15 seconds. That's pretty good. Alright. She makes a huge, like, swing. Caloran, like she has like a very large path. I think she should swing around here in a moment. Yeah, let's see if we can kill these guys in time. Before like she aggroes us, which is fine if she if that's the case. Is fearing any good here or not? Um, sort of helpful. I'm gonna summon some more stuff. Oh man, come on. Let's see if we can kill her fast enough. Come on, come on, come on. Whew. Okay. Uh, as it turns out, the warrior hadn't accepted anyway, so, meh. Um... There's a looking for a group invite. We got like 13 seconds. Okay, nice. Ooh, Zulfra. Is it the same artwork? It's, I think it is. Reset Scotta, sure. Chief Akora's Sand Scout. Uh, that's a nice upgrade. And Wrath of Sand Fury. <laughs> Some of those mobs' names look new to me. Doing? Obtain the Char of the Deep. I can't remember this. Yeah. Have a good one. Gazrilla, yep. Yeah. Free Weagle Blast Fuse and kill Necro. I don't quite recognize all of those things. Um, like, I don't know how to describe it, but some of those. Oh, wait, we have AoE now, right? What's our. I forgot our skill was. I still have my Vikings with me, which is kind of funny. Um, oh, we got any spell list? I'm trying to know what it is. Demon Wrath, got it, okay, uh, duh. I was like, what am I, what is my spell? I had like, I knew like something that was like AoE-ish. I don't have any demons out right now, so I mean, it's not the best. Uh, I, I don't want to pull out any demons. It feels like every time I pull out a demon, 
bad things happen, like they turn to aggro stuff. Okay, so Zolf for Rock is kind of a weird instance. It's sort of forgotten. I think a lot of people miss Zolf for Rock because Zolf for Rock is in uh, Tenaris in the northwestern corner, and it's just sort of. It's not isolated, but it is sort of a weird spot. And I would say it's frequently skipped or forgotten. Um, I'm like eating a hair here, gross. Uh, but I, so I don't, I mean, I, I'm not saying it's forgotten, but I do think of all the instances, it's not necessarily ran that often. Um, I'm doing like hardly any DPS these things at all. And these guys are way faster than me. Like, it's kind of freaking me out how fast these people are just like running through this and aggroing stuff. Like, it seems like we're gonna wipe here. Taking like, me, this would be like a wipe, like in vanilla. We would wipe right now. There's no way you could pull as many mobs and not wipe. So I'm sort of like, it kind of, yeah, it's kind of just blowing my mind that we're just pulling these and we're just fine. Like, it just doesn't even remotely impact as it seems like. And look at the health, everyone was like totally fine for that. Um, it's crazy. I still, I still haven't gotten totally used to how easy uh, it is to pull so many mobs and survive. Like you just live through it. Ah, the ancient tablet. This thing's always fun to read. It tells you how to make the uh, mallet of Zulfra. I wonder if that's still a way to do it. If you still can make that mallet. And if there's still any purpose to it, it sounds like we'll be able to summon, um, so it looks like things have been slightly rearranged in here, but they're still similar. Gazrilla was always really hard to get. The only way to get Gazrilla was to make that mallet, and the mallet is all for rock. Let me show you this. So, um, yeah, so you have to get this up here, I think, is where we get the mallet from, if I remember right. Then you have to take the mallet. I'm definitely going to aggro those mobs. Then you have to take the mallet. Oh, is this a rare spawn? Sandar doing. Yeah, this was. There used to be a rare spawn that would come through here. Um, and that I guess that was that guy there. I didn't. I didn't see him very often. This rare spawn who would patrol in this circle here, but it was pretty rare that he would actually really um, like. You just wouldn't see him that often. Like he was pretty rare, <laughs> has a rare spawn, and so it's kind of cool to see him today, uh, it's kind of fun to see him, but yeah, so Gazrilla, you had to get this mallet, and you got the mallet, you had to go to freaking Hinterlands, and then in the Hinterlands, you had to uh, go all the way up this, like, kind of elite infested area, is it, it's the same spot, I think it is, um, ooh, some cool stuff, um, maybe, is it, is it was Zerillus the rare spawn? There was always a rare spawn there, but I don't remember which one. Zerillus sounds like the right name for the rare spawn, actually. Let's read that. Um, anyway. Gazrilla was hard to summon. You usually wouldn't have been to the Hinterlands by this point, because the Hinterlands was almost like a higher level, it was a higher level zone than, than Tenaris, so you probably weren't necessarily there yet. So it was hard to summon Gazrilla, and so getting the Terror of the Deep was not easy to do. Looks like here, Gazrilla will just be there. If you go and click on the gong, maybe, she'll just summon on her own. Um, which is nice. So, um, I, I, it makes it a lot easier. It was one of the hardest bosses to summon in the game, I would say. I think I feared a mob back there. Yeah, it's like still running around. Where are we going? There's like nothing here. Yeah, I don't know why I went up that way. We're still like... Here, let's do this and stuff. Doom that guy. Doom this guy. I feel that Doom's an instant cast. Pretty nice. So these little scarabs up here, you had to kill for some quests because you need to collect the uh, scarab shells they drop. And you had to kill, of course, uh, Thekka the Martyr here. Uh, for a different quest. So it's a quest mob and these scarabs are also quest mobs. Um, but normally 
normally it's pretty easy to kill the scurbs. Uh, you can just AoE them down pretty easily. We just have someone over there so many stuff without us. It's really funny. Look at my DPS. It's so bad. I'm gonna suck so bad at this guy. I think this guy's immune. I think they become immune eventually to spells or something like that. I forget how it works. Yeah, he has like a temporary immunity thing. I don't know why I'm wasting my mana on him. Oh, I gotta blow my nose. Okay, that's like a million times better. Sorry about that. Uh, we're skipping the boss apparently. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this was always an interesting boss here, because if you got to this boss and you didn't clear all these graves first, the graves would summon mobs that would pop up. And uh, you would wipe. So I'm surprised. I guess they nerfed it so you don't have to do that anymore. Anyway, I'm uh, trying to help out with this over here. Uh, uh, yeah, so killing the Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor himself is pretty easy to kill. Um, Read that. Um, anyway, so yeah, this boss is pretty standard. Uh, follow. Okay, so down in chat, um, I asked if we're skipping Antu Soul, and the instance leader said no. He said, I don't know the way. And, uh, how do people not know the way? Like, there's, there's literally a map that tells you the way, and like I get if you've never done it before, and like I, I recognize that I've done this instance like, I probably ran Zulfurok like 20 times. Vanilla Zulfurok, but still, Zulfurok. And I recognize that not everyone has done it as much as me, but like, I mean, there's like a map. I mean like, it's there's a map, it's not like there's any uh, thing complicated here. Um, just like, look at the map. <laughs> So, oh man, I'm gonna die here for sure. I'm soul stone, so it's okay. Where's our other Zantu souls? Like, where is he? I didn't even see him in the mess. I got like, he got like lost. I'm gonna like, channel that cackling thing. What does that do? Yeah, okay, well, that was fun. Anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah, so this guy, is, he summons these little, uh, basilisks. Hey, this is pretty much the same mod boss that he always was. Like, this guy feels, like, pretty much identical to what he used to be. Um, oh, what do we get? That's a nice sword. It looks really cool, too. Sangthrae's the Deflector. I mean, not really that useful for me. I'll greet it, but I hope I get it. Nice. We are going to... Do I have... Oh, it's been added to my appearance collection. Okay. I thought you had to equip things that you get like that, but I guess if you just get them in your inventory, it does. It's added to your uh, collection, which is nice. Okay. Uh, so I have two soul. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is going well. We killed this guy over here. That's a cool mount that person has. Look at that. That big uh, Drake looking thing. So now, this coming up is going to be a cool event. Oh, it used to be a cool event. Uh, you'd see the distance of stairs, and you basically go up there, you free someone's locked up, like a gatekeeper or a, a cage keeper. You kill him, and he gives you a key. And then... So we're going to have the damage, okay. And then the key, once you get that, you open this cage up there, and then it frees a goblin and his buddies. And then those guys will help you defend the top against like a huge onslaught of mobs that are spawned. Um, and it's, it's actually one of the better events in pre-60 instances. Like I think it's a really cool event. And you really do get to see a lot of interesting... Um, it's, just, it's fun. Like, it's actually not easy. 
uh, there's elite mobs. You have to kind of tank those, and there's non elite mobs that anyone can probably tank. You can maybe AOE down. And then eventually, if, if you if the enough of those people you save survive, uh, especially a goblin, he'll open this gate back here, and the gate will let you go fight another boss. Is the gate still there? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's pretty cool. It's actually it's one, it's one of the tougher events in an under 60 instance, but it's really cool. That's right, he wasn't a gatekeeper or cagekeeper, he was an executioner, yeah. And then it looks like all of our people are still in there. I think it's the same ones. Normally one person can loot that key. Yeah, it's the same people. Huh. There's a part, one of our quests, where we have to free... Uh... Weedle Blast Fuse? Fuse? Weedle Blast Fuse? That event starts faster. Um, the event's going. I mean, this is like, this is it, so... I'm trying to get these guys to do some AoE. Seems like the way to go here. I don't know, maybe. Okay, good. Now I wonder how many waves we have to fight, or if that's it. And then once we fight these waves, and these guys will go down there. Like I can talk to this guy like now. I think. What can I do for you? I don't know if they do anything. Hmm. Okay, so it's a much shorter event now. It used to be like multiple waves of those big guys, uh, of those little guys we were fighting. Um, definitely a lot less now. I'm demon racking these guys to uh, get some AOE going. It's maybe my best ability here, like best AOE, my best way to do the most DPS, I think. <laughs> I kill those guys are easy to kill. And now the, the NPCs above us should come down here, yeah, and then they should stand here, and then we'll have to fight them, I think. I think it's how it should work. We are running out of space. Rapidly. Oh yeah, I can mount you, can I? Uh, right. I always forget I can mount in here. Like uh, it doesn't seem like a place you can mount at, but I. But you always could. So. May you find what you seek. Find my throwing stuff away when I can render it. Uh, it took me like years, but I'm finally like able to remember. Um. Finally able to remember how to. Uh, yeah, here's our bad guys. So now, these guys are, uh... We have to attack them. You might have noticed the goblin over there ran off. He's up in the top left. He just opened that gate. So, that's where the goblin has to live. That's the most important one, almost, of all of them. Uh, yeah. There used to be a quest involved with Sergeant Bly, but I don't think it's still there anymore. Uh, obviously, it didn't seem like it was, so... Oh, we've got a few patrols to kill here. And then once we kill these patrols, we'll go up there. There should be like one guy, like a named mob with a named basilisk pet. Maybe a couple elite basilisks to kill, like NPCs, or um, just like trash mobs. And that should be it. Oh, it looks like maybe, yeah, there they are, okay. These are the trash mobs. And then there's our guy. Oh, it looks like he now has... I thought Ruzulu used to be a basilisk. I didn't think it was two trolls. Could be wrong on that. I mean, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure there used to be a basilisk, not not two trolls. So that's interesting. The Sanctuary anyway, easy mob. These were never like tough bosses, but they were, you know, they were, they were. Uh, and I think that's about the last place. Once you do this, then we go kill Hydromancer Belrotha and Gazrilla. Uh, those are just like kind of side by side, and we'll be done. Oh, nice. Uh, leveled up apparently. Jane Three is the protector. Neat. Greed. Oh, uh, what what did I just get? Um, I finished the achievement. Hit level forty nine. Nice. Uh, nice. Nothing no, nothing special at forty nine. It seems like, but still exciting. Um, yeah, cool. Level forty nine. So once we, I'm trying to decide, you know, once we hit fifty eight. 
I probably will go straight to Burning Crusade content. I was thinking about it, like whether I wanted just to ground to 60. Um, I'll probably just go straight to Burning Crusade content at that point. Because I'm really excited to do it. I'm just like really excited to check out the Burning Crusade. Um, I, I did level in the Burning Crusade once. Like one time. I leveled to 70 on a rogue back in like retail of Burning Crusade. And that's the only time I've ever done it. So I'm, yeah, not really familiar with it. Now here's Velrotha. Um, why are we killing all these mobs? We don't need to kill these mobs. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Stop. I don't know why they're pulling so much stuff. They've been doing that kind of this whole... Like, constantly. I don't know. It just seems like it's they've been doing that a lot. It's fine. It doesn't, like, hurt anything. It's, like, not needed. Okay, Hydromancer Velrotha killed. Um, I don't think she drops the tiara. I think... Oh, she did. Okay, I thought Gazrilla dropped it. Now, if we click that gong, it summons Gazrilla. Um, I guess we should probably kill these mobs that are still attacking us. Oh, there's Gazrilla. That's horrifying. Um, so anyway, Gazrilla, you normally, like I said, you couldn't summon him unless you had, uh, unless you had your mallet, and that was such a hard thing to get. I never actually had the mallet. I never, never got it in my tunes in vanilla. Um, I'd always rely on other people to get it or just skip it because it wasn't worth it to me. Like, it wasn't that important, I thought, so I just left it. Um, but, I don't know, a lot of people would get it. Thankfully, you only need one mallet per group. And, uh, obviously today, in modern WoW, you don't need the mallet. Oh my gosh, that's still, he just still does that thing. <laughs> still kind of funny. Okay, well, and he's dead. Gazrilla is obviously a play on Godzilla, I think, anyway. Created that. Ready for turn in. Okay, we turn stuff down there. Now the fastest way is just running through here. But there's a lot of mobs to run through if you go that way, so uh, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna run this way. Is anyone else going that way? Okay, they're all going with this way also. Oh, what has this guy got on him? Okay, why is he glowy? It's kind of cool. Oh, nothing special. Okay. Also, well, that's uh, that's Zulfur Rock. It's Zulfur Rock. Normally, it'd probably take you an hour and a half to run this instance to do that. Maybe maybe a little bit less. Uh, someone's asking if we're done with the, the, all the bosses. And yes, we are. Uh, yeah, let's service. see. Vendor, anything to vendor. I haven't clicked that appearance yet. Okay, well, I better equip it. I'm finally like doing the right thing and actually equipping all of the uh, stuff that I haven't gotten on my appearance yet. <laughs> Safe I remember people like yelling at me in the comments like, why are you doing that? Like sell it in the auction house or at least equip it. And so like, okay, I'll equip it now. Um, I just didn't like realize the appearances, I mean, not they matter, but, like I just didn't care. But now I understand. It's like, okay, I might as well collect them, right? Like why not? It's not hard. <laughs> I know a lot of these things can be sold in the auction house, but I just don't care that much. It's like, eh. It's like not worth the time to me, I guess? I don't know. Something like that. Okay, let's turn into some of these quests. I'm gonna get a lot of experience, I bet, for all these. Okay, complete quest, complete quest. I mean, there's a lot of quests to turn in, right? So it should Talk be a fair amount of experience. What up? Complete quest, continue. Complete quest. Be good. Yeah, that got us about mm, third of the way through the level. And we, we've got uh, like pretty much a strict upgrade there, not a strict upgrade, but a solid upgrade, and a solid upgrade there. Nice, I'll take that. Cool, that's really useful, getting a couple nice upgrades there. And, uh, let's... Leave instance group. Okay, back to the Badlands. Now in the Badlands, what were we working on? We were killing, I'm gonna kill another one of those, like, dragon things. Um, these guys. Summon a demon. Dark Flight Soldier, we need two more of these, that's right. Okay. Oh god. I sure does like to uh, charge quickly. Anyway, we'll kill this guy and then one more. Uh, and then I think we will be... I don't know if we've done the Badlands, but I might start... Like, I just want to kind of finish this quest line. Might start wrapping up after that. Um, let's Soul Stone. I want to avoid any of these extra mobs here and just go for this soldier. That's what I'm looking for. 
Uh, obviously fairly aggro, a, a raging whelp. Which I don't think those whelps were here before. Like, this whole area was not... I don't know where you would use the Where is this? I think there's generic crap. I don't think there's like any specific interesting mobs out here. Um, like vultures and wolves are all that would really hang around here, I think. I'm just killing this whelp real quick to get it out of my way. I missed when Drain Life was like an instant kill on any mob. That was such a good time. Oh, the big quest. Okay. Defeat General Jiraka, Moldar, and six Dragonfly Dragon spawn. Okay. I guess we're going into the big fort over here. That's scary. Alright, let's do that. Da 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 da. Some weird fights going on here. Um, do I have to fight both these mobs? New Karka front. Ah, uh, these are horde mobs. That's right. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just gonna sneak on by these guys. I don't want to fight this crap. Uh, let's see. So how do I get in here? They're distracted. That's good. I don't have to. Oh, really? Not that distracted, apparently. Okay, well, let's go fight this guy. These aren't live. And usually when I see these, uh, these, this, this model of, of NPC or mob, I assume it is a, an elite. Like, they're, they used to be always elite, I think, in vanilla. Like, I don't think those models were ever non-elite mobs. No longer the case, though. Apparently these are non-elites, which is nice. Makes it, like, a little bit easier for us. I guess I can summon a demon again. There's really no reason not to. I was not summoning it because we had the, the Vikings, but the Vikings seemed to have finally left us alone. So now I'm on my own to like actually have my demon back, which is nice. Okay, I don't need to kill quite as many of these guys as I've been killing already. Like, I'm gonna kill way more of these trash guards than I need to, but they're just like, they're aggroing on me a lot. Oh, here we go. Moldar. Have I seen Moldar before? I mean, he was never here for sure, but I don't think I recognize him whatsoever. So I guess the Black Dragon Flight is basically taking over the Badlands, kind of as like a part of uh, Deathwing moving in. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, I got my demon army up there distracting him, which is nice. Uh, so once we kill this guy, then I guess we go a little farther up to get General Jiraka. Okay, that's fine, we can do that. Let's get hit very hard. Ah, not too bad. My absorbent stuff's working pretty well. Have some more demons. The DPS feels a bit low. Giant buzzard off in the distance there. Okay, dead. Now, is there a way around these that aggro them? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Cause like maybe I can get around them, not aggro them. Nope. Not at all. Badlands has changed a lot. I mean, Badlands really has. This also puts a lot more elevation to it. Like, there was never a... There was a hill here, I think, but it wasn't anything you could climb up. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's just throw down my Dreadstalkers. Those Dreadstalkers do a ton of damage, by the way. Like, they seriously do a huge amount of damage on that initial, like, launch. Um, I think I underestimate how much damage they really do, just from, like, being summoned. I mean, it really is a lot. I never use this. Demonic power. It's like an instant cast, basically, ability that does 50% haste on my demons. I feel like it's a good thing to cast when I have a lot of demons out, right? So, like, if I summon, like, four demons here... Oh, it's not instant cast. My bad. I thought it was. I'm dumb. Not instant cast. It is a one and a half second cast, basically. That yeah, makes it not quite as good. Still probably useful. I probably should be using it in like longer fights, but I'm... I don't know. I, a, lot of, a lot of times you can probably tell I really like simple, simple things. And so that can include uh, just simply Shadow Bolt spamming. It's a little bit boring, but it's simple, so I like it. And uh, it makes things a little more relaxing. It's something about WoW, I really like playing it to relax, not to like min-max everything. I mean, if I was trying to min-max, I'd be pretty bad at this game. I mean, it's like obvious I'm pretty bad if I'm min-maxing, because I'm certainly not uh, doing that. But, yeah, I don't know. Whew. I think I just critted for like 2,000 damage with that summon. Okay. The general himself is 
the top up here, I guess. This is a cool and kind of scary area. General Jiraka himself. Okay, um... Let's do this... This... Doom... Demonic Empowerment, sure. Get some haste going. Hmm. I mean, he doesn't really seem that much more deadly than anything else. But, still kind of cool. Um, having these guys like hanging out up here. Nice view though, look at that. I and mean, that's one thing I do like about Legion. You have a much larger uh, viewing distance than in vanilla. Which is really cool. Complete quest. Slay Nixandra and 12 Nixandra's broodlings. Okay. So Nixandra was off to the... Right down there. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I was like, can I jump that? No, definitely not. <laughs> so yeah, once I finish this quest line, I think I will leave the Badlands. I think that's the plan. Finish off killing all the uh, Black Dragonflight leaders, and then bail out. Head west into uh, Searing Gorge. You know, I'll be honest, I never really liked Searing Gorge that much. I was never a huge fan of Searing Gorge. But I like to check it out, just because, you know, it's a little bit newer. Well, there's Nixandra. And how many? Twelve of our broodlings? Well, wow. that's quite a few. Where is Eric Swift going? Or Olaf? On the bright side, she's like really easy to- or these guys are really easy to kill. Like they don't seem to have a lot of health, <laughs> so that's nice. There are a lot of them though, so we have to like really dig our way through to get to this- get, get to Nixandra. By the way, does anyone else feel like that was a really fast, uh, like a group, I was looking for a group for Zulfur Rock. I feel like they went really quickly. Um, like I feel like that usually takes a lot longer than that to get into a group. So I'm happy. I was really happy with that. I was actually surprised. I was like, oh my gosh. I only queued in like five minutes ago, I think. Or like five minutes before. Um, how do I get to Alexandra? Is she above me? I guess I can just do this. That works. Okay, that's good. I was like, how do I get to her? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's pump up my demons. There we go. Okay. Oh, fear. That's gross. AoE fear. Nasty. That's a good way to uh, summon a bunch of mobs on me. Like, I'm sure I just aggroed a lot of stuff. Maybe? Yeah. Aggroed a lot of stuff. Our, uh... Unfortunately... We're gonna lose our. Oh my gosh, these fears are insane. AoE fear is like the nastiest thing. I'm definitely gonna die here. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna die. Wow, that's the first time I've died just in like out in the world like that. I think in a long time, if at all. So. Uh, note to self, clear up, clear more space. I really didn't expect that, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have, uh, fought her there if I had expected that. That's good to know. Okay, so I just clear, like, a big pack here. Hope she doesn't aggro me right now, that'd be really bad. I'd just run away if she aggroed me at this point. Just be like, nope, I'm out of here. Huh. You cannot command. So where do I even go to safely fight her? It's like, it's like there's nowhere clear here. I have to clear so many mobs. Alright, this will be okay. I'll clear like a couple of these right here and then pull her just over there and she'll be fine. That's not bad if I don't get feared into like six other mobs, right? Like that's where you can actually die. I just didn't know she was going to fear. Like I wasn't expecting that at all. Not even remotely. Okay. I'm gonna drink real quick. Um, I think this is a good spot. We might... Let's, let's kill this one down here also. And the next time she swings around, we will engage. Let's kill one more. 
I'm being like super paranoid now, but like the only way we're gonna wipe on her is if she makes us pull a bunch of mobs. So as long as I clear these other ones, I should be fine. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to loot these mobs sometimes. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I did not I should not have gone this way. Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. No. <laughs> I'm aggroing everything again. Okay. Let's get up here. Let's kill this one. We missed her again today. I, I knew if I fell down there, I was gonna like miss that pass, so. Okay. We will sit and drink while we wait for her to swing around, and now we've got a nice clear, like, a good spot to pull her. She'll be ready. Got a demon ready. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna back up a little bit more. Alright, now we're good. I think we're good here. Gonna empower our demons. And just spam Shadow Bolt now. Maybe uh, keep Doom up if it, when it disappears. That fear range is crazy, actually, though. Like, I didn't. Like, I'm surprised she could fear me from that far away. Uh, try to keep some demons going, at least. It's hard to generate Shadow Bolts fast enough to keep all my demons up actually in a fight. Like, I guess that's like the trick with these mobs, is like actually keeping, or with a demonic warlock, not with these mobs, is keeping all the demons up at the same time. Like, easier said than done, I guess. Um, yeah, this went much better, right? Like, now that we're not aggroing like seven extra mobs that do like a decent amount of damage. Um, Oh man, someone down in guild chat saying that they're the fifth highest DPS in their raid, or in their battleground, and they're the tank. That doesn't seem good. Okay, complete quest. Speak with Rhea. Okay. She is... Where is she? Over there. Okay. Da da da! Up here. Where is she at? Am I missing her? Oh, duh. I like ran my fire. Okay, complete quest. Wait as she retrieves the egg. Okay. Cutscene time. I always like cutscenes. They really are spoiling me with these cutscenes, because cutscenes just didn't exist in Vanilla Well. So it's so cool seeing them now. Like, I, I like seeing them. I'll just leave this right here, okay? You do that, Rhea. Now to get the egg. How's my little baby doing? <laughs> That's cute. No, it's it's you. No. Uh. It looks like Deathwing. Comes like fire, spit into this cave, man. GG. Well, that's also terrifying. <laughs> so, um, they really push Deathwing as an antagonist in. I mean, in Cataclysm, I mean, I know that's the point, but like... Reistraza's gift. Uh, thankfully, you've avoided Deathwing's notice. <laughs> that is good. Search for Reistraza. Achievement complete. Badlands quests. Complete 35 quests in the Badlands. I didn't realize I completed that many. Wow. I really put some work in the Badlands compared to some of these zones, I think. Alright. I don't even know if I want to go in here to search for her, but... Oh, look. Found her final note. Heroes, if you're reading this, then my suspicions were correct. Deathwing has found us. The egg is destroyed, as am I. This was actually the plan from the beginning. You see, that the egg that Deathwing destroyed was not the egg he sought. It was mine. Wow. Thought twist. Oh. <laughs> Where did this guy come from? Boyam's back. You're, a tall one. you're not the only mortal that Reese Chasing Confide in. I, too, earned the Dragon's Trust. I've already moved the real purified egg onto a safer location within the Baylands. It will need to grow out of Deathwing's sight. 
The red dragon plant is benevolent as it is powerful. It was Rhea's Chaz's final wish that I gave this to you. Rhea's last egg. Alrighty then. Cool. Use calls call forth calls forth Rhea's child to fight by your side. Ten minute cooldown. That's awesome. Cool. I feel like it's a, I'm glad I finished this quest. Up, but I feel like it's a good kind of point to say goodbye to uh, the Badlands, right? I'm gonna abandon this quest. I think it's a very good point to kind of say goodbye and yeah, move along. Um, what level are we? are 49, almost 50. We'll be 50 next episode, pretty easily. I don't think we're going to do a lot more the rest of this episode, but I want to at least kind of move down to, uh, Searing Gorge and kind of get a peek around there. But yeah, I'm pretty psyched about the Badlands. It's, it's definitely got a couple of really fun quests, like the, the Riastraza quest line is nice. Um, the quests where we work with the dwarves are cool. The quests where we, um, are the Vikings, I mean. The quest where we uh, punch death in the face is cool. Some definitely good quests there. What quest is this? <laughs> Thor in advance. Okay, right. I don't know where we got that one from, but we're gonna pick up some quests here. What's on your mind? Okay. Obtain the Dark Iron Memo. Safe travel. Okay. What's on your mind? Slave ten geologists. Okay. Obtain flywheels. Hmm? Hi. Okay. Eh, nothing too fancy. Uh, let's check out Thorium Point. I know these quests are all right here. It might make sense to do all these first. But I kind of want to see Thorium Point. See what it looks like. Thorium Point was a neutral uh, town, but it was a really crappy neutral town because like there were no guards, or the guards never seemed to do much. So in most cases, people could just gank the crap out of you, and, um, well, really, they could gank you easily, because they were oftentimes, like, level 60 raid gear people going down a Black Rock Mountain for Molten Core Blackwing Lair, and if you were, like, level, you know, 48, like I'm 49 right now, I had, like, no chance, and there just were no guards, so you just get smoked, and it really sucked, so I never really liked Thorium Point, um, because, like, it, I would just frequently get killed for no reason. Like, it just, you know, just, just because I was a lower level opposite faction person. And there was just nothing you could do. Um, except have bodyguards. Which is always nice. But, uh, yeah, I just want to check it out real quick on our own. For myself. Uh, Thorium Point. It looks the same. So far. Should be some quests here. Yeah. Slay Lava Spiders. That looks familiar. Used to be a wanted poster here. That got removed, it looks like. I can't fit through this, can I? <laughs> Almost could, but not quite. And... Report to someone. Okay, that's weird. Oh, that's the new quest, I think. And the flight point. Yep. Should be... A horde flight point on the other side. Anyway, we are going to wrap up a little bit early today. Um, but over here, yep, horde flight point. Ooh. Master okay. pet trainer. Cool. Nifty. Anyway, um, next time we're just going to start cranking through some quests in Searing Gorge, especially down here. At least we've got at least one over here, too. So, that's going to be kind of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. And then we'll also probably run Strat Dead, maybe? I think so. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.